What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. In the last video you guys saw that we did a bunch of body work. We started all the body work on the Soar in preparation for getting the full custom candy paint job. Now I just showed up to the shop right now. So let's go inside, see how everything's going and uh, figure out what we're doing for today. All right you guys, so in yesterday's video, you saw that Kevin got the driver's side of the Soar all squared away body work wise. It looks awesome. He got the passenger side about 70% of the way done. The compressor started to overheat, so we took a break. I ended up going home. Today, we're back. We're gonna get the passenger side all squared away. And then after that, he'll hopefully move on to primer and all that stuff. It'll be a good day. A lot more progress, and I'm looking forward to it. So someone pointed this out in the previous video and Kevin just confirmed, yes, it is a first gen yes. RX-7. And he did the entire paint job on, well, he did everything to this car, including the engine bay and everything. This thing is super, super nice. <laughs> wow. Look at the freaking quality. Let me turn the ISO up here. Everything. Beautiful. So to confirm with, I can't remember your name who said it, but yes, this is a first gen RX-7. It is super cool. JDM Leaf. For those of you that didn't know, when I first got this car, I looked at the hood and it had like a funny outline on it that looked exactly like a JDM like learner driver's leaf. And it was like six inches by four inches. And I'm convinced that there was like a sticker or a magnet on the hood of this car for a JDM driver leaf at some point. I, I don't know why. I guess when it was taken off, it left a bunch of like pitting in the hood because we tried to clean it and it didn't come off. So now it's finally gone. But he got this door pretty much squared away. It looks awesome. And the whole quarter panel's all set. So this car's coming along. Are you guys so this car is super super close to primer he just laid down another super super thin little skim coat on this door the back of the quarter here and he sanded down the hood over here did a quick little skim coat on this as well once all of this is all blocked the car is going to be ready for primer we got to prepare for all that stuff but this car is turning out awesome everything is super straight nice and smooth I'm stoked for this. When we first wrapped the car dark, dark red, I fell in love with it. And ever since then, I knew that that was the color that this car needed to be, especially with the contrast from the wheels and everything else on the car, it's perfect. And I've always loved the House of Colors Brandywine, just didn't have a justifiable reason to do it until now. So I hope you guys are ready for this color because once it's on this car, and the wheels are on and it's dropped again and it's all finished it's gonna be insane it's leading me home it's coming down raining on me Alright, so at this point, 
Kevin has finished the body work on the car and we are going to be dropping the car down. We're going to pull it outside. We're going to spray it all down, get all the dust and everything off of it. We're going to swap spots, put the car in the booth and start priming. He started working on the bumper over here too. This bumper has a lot of like pitting and things and a lot of adhesive from the, uh, the wrap and stuff like that, but it feels a lot nicer now. So it's getting there, it's getting there. Alright Kevin, the time has come. Yep. It's primer yeah. time. Yep. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna clean. Yep. All the edges, everything, make sure everything is clean, nice. We're gonna start masking up and then after we're gonna prime. Hell yeah. That's awesome dude. <laughs> so everything is pretty much done. Car is insanely smooth. Everything looks great. So it's time for primer. Presser started to overheat again, they let it cool down. You still gotta do the bumpers and skirts and lip and stuff like that, but the car itself is all masked off, all taped off, everything like that, and it looks awesome. He only needs to prime the spots that he did body work on, that way everything is one color. He can see if anything stands out, anything's too low or too high. He ran out real quick to get some paint for another project. When he is back, we'll start priming this, make it look awesome and then see where we lie for all of the body work that we did yesterday. Looking at the car from here with the outside sun, I see really nothing. It's a little mismatched because of the body, the body work and the not body work and stuff like that. It kind of throws it off a little, but the panels are so straight. They probably will need a little bit of touch up afterwards after they're sanded after the primer, but that was, uh, that was known going into it, so. This shit's gonna look awesome. All right, you guys, well, the time has come. All the panels are laid out, sanded, grease removed. Everything's all set. We are officially ready for primer. Kevin's got the gun loaded up. He's testing out the sprays, seeing how everything looks. And we're gonna dive right in. Right off the bat, just from these few panels that he sprayed, just from the first coat, this stuff looks super, super smooth. Not all of it's dry yet, but I mean, you guys can see the shine on camera. There's really nothing wrong, which is awesome. I mean, that just means that this can go smoother and everything goes to plan. This is great. This bumper was worrying me a little bit because it had so many little defects in it from it being a cast polyurethane bumper but this looks really really good i'm hyped this was the fender that had a lot of damage on the bottom of it and i mean you can't even tell that there was anything there it looks so good
that's why I turned two times. Yeah. Now I will block it again. Yeah. And when I'm done blocking it, and then prime it again, it's gonna be it's gonna be more straight. It's right. Gonna look more awesome. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're gonna, you're gonna see that that final charge. Yeah. What, what, you, what you guys want? For sure. Yeah. yeah. No, we were both just admiring this bumper and how it for for it being a cast bumper, it's pretty damn good. There's a couple little nicks and stuff in here, but overall, I mean. I'm impressed with it, the way it looks, but all this other stuff, the fenders look awesome, the bumper looks awesome, the car is ridiculously straight. He pointed it out to me. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I mean, that door was all wavy before, and it is straight. So everything is primed. The first few layers are down. He just ran out of primer on this last lip. He's got to go over it one more time, but everything else has got a fresh, nice coat of primer on it. The car came out awesome. The bodywork looks super good. Uh, you pointed out a tiny, tiny couple little things here and there yes. that need to go over, but yep. that's why you're going to block it and yeah, exactly. prime it, all yep. that stuff. That's, that's why I, I blocked twice so i prime twice too so like that i can see what i miss if i like the car is white too right sometimes with white you don't see like a dent right so right, that's right. why i block the whole thing primer yeah and block it again and like that i can see if i miss something right or like all the little stuff like sometimes little scratches little details, or whatever yeah, exactly so, exactly yep now now tomorrow i block it and then prime it again and it's supposed to look mint. So yeah, when well, I paint it, everything's gonna look beautiful. <laughs> yeah. and it all to me it already looks <laughs> ready to go. But I mean everything is just perfect. Super straight, nothing wrong with it. I mean, except for the tiny little things that he pointed out. But I can't I'm not even gonna bother trying to show them on camera because you probably won't be able to see them at all. But um today went awesome. Everything is primed ready to go. I won't be here for the next two days because I have a wedding to film tomorrow and the next day is my brother's birthday, so I'm gonna be spending time with him. But while I'm gone, he's gonna be doing a couple little things. He's gonna be re he's gonna be blocking the car and everything again and then repriming it and all that stuff. So when I get back Monday, I'll be able to help him. We'll take the doors off and stuff like that and then we can dive into the jams and get all that stuff paint it away and then we'll do some swatches see what everything looks like it'll be awesome so today was great everything's primed and uh that's the end of the video so i hope you guys enjoyed be sure to leave a like comment subscribe if you did be sure to follow fashion one kevin for all his hard work he's doing awesome and i'll see you guys in the next video